Can I uh, thank you and your team for being so reactive? over the past few weeks whenever I've had a question I've, I've got a response very quickly and thank you. I've got two questions um, which I'll, I'll try and be as brief as I can. First one is on PPE. From chatting to frontline workers what I'm hearing is that the, some of the anxiety that's happening is because of the changes in the rules around PPE so obviously Public Health England put their uh, guidelines out which were different from the WHO guidelines and then more recently that shifted to WHO guidelines uh, as I understand it and I think that's caused some concern around actually why didn't we do that from the start so uh, if you could answer that and then the second question is actually not PPE related but it's a critical one uh, for my constituents and elsewhere in other hospitals um, as you'll be aware we had a critical incident in Watford a few weeks ago around oxygen um, I'd just be interested to know you know what's been done to ensure that there aren't any more of those issues happening either at Watford yeah. but also at other hospitals across the UK. Thank well you. both very important questions so um, uh, on the first of course on 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 exactly what um, what PPE is required in what settings uh, you'll understand I've got I have to take clinical advice on that however um, I, I wasn't comfortable with clinical advice uh, that um, e even though it's what our clinicians had um, concluded was the best outcome uh, was the best um, advice, uh, was not at the level set by the World Health Organization. Um, and if you think about it, in part, this is about the PPE stocks uh, that had been um, that had been built up um, and um, make and, and fitting um, the, uh, the, the, the proposals of what people should wear when to what the stocks are. And I, I think that instead, we sh I said, we've got to be at WHO standards or higher, um, and the and the clinicians that came forward with that upgrade, uh, and I'm very glad that they did. Now, um, the uh, of course also, you know, I, PPE must be used according to those standards and not higher, uh, and that's why we set them out in such a clear way. Um, and we've got to make sure that. Um, you know, that people know what to do in the circumstances where PPE uh, supplies are tight. Um, but this is something that we're constantly working on. And the critical, the core answer to your question is that it is, I'm, I'm guided by the clinicians in terms of what PPE is right in what uh, circumstances. Um, the, um, on the second point, of course, you know, the supply part of the battle plan has PPE as one of the most um, high profile elements, but it has a huge amount in it. And making sure that the oxygen supplies work is um, is very important. And was it, I think it was, um, it was almost two weeks ago now that we had yes. um, a problem because one of the oxygen um, machines, one of the pumps uh, broke at Watford, uh, which meant that we had to divert patients coming in by ambulance to other local hospitals. Um, I'm glad to say that no patients were uh, had a problem uh, and there wasn't a risk to patient safety. The situation was managed extremely effectively um, and we have uh, we brought in uh, technical experts to so sort the engineering problem that there was. Um, and you know the, the supplies of when we, throughout the NHS we're, um, we're looking at, strengthening where they're old or out of date those oxygen supply um the physical equipment um and it's a it's an important technical problem okay and can i just follow up to a very quick pp thing on on the question around the uh, access to that can you just confirm that no nurse or doctor who wants to perhaps use some additional pp because of concerns are going to be policed and told that they can't if they're if they're concerned about um what they what they've been asked to wear no i it, uh, exactly. But uh, what I would say is that, you know, the, the clinical guidelines have been thought about very carefully and we have to make sure that the PPE that, need, that gets to where it um, uh, gets to where it needs to be. It is, as I've said before, a precious resource. And the reason that it's precious is because uh, globally uh, there is a uh, the, there's very, very high demand. And so getting hold of it is a is a huge challenge. Um, and it's one of the reasons that we're ramping up the domestic manufacture uh, to make sure that we have more that's made here and can go straight into the front line, whether that's in the NHS or in social care. So PPE is a precious resource and we need to make sure that it's used 